Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So this is a little bit new. I'm going to be going through my entire face primer collection with you guys and giving you guys little mini reviews on these primers because as you guys know, I only use a specific amount of makeup whenever I do my makeup on camera for you guys just to not overwhelm you guys with all a bunch of random products, but I have a bunch of products. So this is not a declutter. It's just showing you guys the products I have in my collection and letting you know my mini reviews on them. And... Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing this with a lot of different products in my collection, so hope you guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I really feel sick today, so I have my water bottle, like, right here, and it's literally almost completely empty. <sighs> I'm sorry if I seem black, because I don't feel good. So, first off, I'm going to show you guys, I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas, um, primer. I'm super excited to have this. Um... This was really expensive, but it is a really good primer. So I use this primer personally whenever I am going to be photographed. So like if I go to like a birthday party and my sister's taking pictures, because my sister's a photographer, I will use this primer because I like having my skin just look really nice in my sister's photos. But this is a very, very expensive primer, so I don't personally recommend it. I don't like to recommend products on my channel because I don't know your financial situation, but if you want to try this and you can afford it and it's not going to hurt your bank, go ahead and grab it because you want to try it, but don't try it just because I recommended it and said it's a good primer because this is really expensive. All right, so the next product I have is one I've only used a couple times. It's the little mini Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. So I got this at the recommendation of Tati. I do like this a lot. I wear this um, whenever I'm going out, usually for like dates, which as you guys know, I don't go on dates a lot, COVID. But whenever Brandon and I are going on a date or I go out with my um, grandmother or my parents to dinner or lunch or something like that, I usually will end up wearing this. It does last pretty long on my skin. I do like this. I want to get the bigger one. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape Pore and Prime Balm. I actually thought that this was the Timeless Smoothing Primer that Tati was using, which is why I picked this up. And when I got it, I was like, this wasn't, this isn't it. This is wrong. But um, I've only used this a couple times also. This is an okay primer in my opinion, but it's not my favorite, which is why I don't really reach for it very often when I'm, I'm going out or anything like that. So take that with a grain of salt. Next, I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, one of my friends actually bought me my original one for my birthday a couple years ago when it came out. Thank you, Rach. Love you, girl. But this is a really good primer. This is like the third one I have, and they have like four of them now. I don't have the acne fighting one. I don't have acne prone skin. But you can get all of them in trios, and I'll talk about the other two also in a, like a little mini trio. I just personally prefer the poreless one out of all of them, if you want me to be completely honest. The next one is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I do have normal to dry skin, occasional dry patches. Right now, my skin's getting more dry. It's currently 55 degrees. I'm literally looking at my computer just to make sure it's 55 degrees right now outside. So, you know, we're getting into colder weather. My skin's getting drier because of that, and I haven't dealt with any dry patches yet, but I do prefer luminous primers over matte primers, which is going to be a running theme in this video. But yes, this is my second favorite out of the Poreless Putty Primer line. And then last, I do have the matte putty primer because I do actually enjoy matte skin. I used to set my skin a lot with powder during the summertime. You guys know if you watched my videos. Um, I do like a matte look from time to time, but I don't find myself reaching for this during this time of the year, which I'm filming this on October 21st. Dang. Wow, I did not realize it's October 21st. Next, I've actually purchased multiples of this one also. This is the L'Oreal Paris Magic Perfecting Base. I've had multiples of this. This is a little expensive, in my opinion, for drugstore and what you get. Definitely a dupe for that Tarte um, Timeless like 
ball or yeah timeless smoothing primer whatever this is definitely a dupe for it but it's like 14 or 15 dollars i remember when i was working at mcdonald's when i was younger and just getting into makeup i discovered this and i fell in love with it but i did not fall in love with the price i hate the price so i would go back to it every now and again like when i finished it i would use a different primer and then when i had the extra money i would go get this this is a really really good primer i've had like four or five of these <laughs> Next, brings back memories. This is the Makeup Revolution Pore Perfecting Primer. I went to so many Ulta's looking for this, and I finally found it, and I found one, and I snatched that bitch up because I am pretty sure that they're discontinuing this, or at least they did discontinue this. I love the packaging on it. This is really, really nice also. Um, I definitely think, I like primers like this that come in like the the balm thing, like the, the jar. I prefer primers like this if you want me to be completely honest. I do find myself reaching for these primers over my high-end primers and my drugstore primers, which we will get into. I like, I prefer primers like this usually on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm not doing my makeup to film for YouTube videos. This was a birthday gift for from this year, actually. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Putty Primer. My mom got this for me for my birthday. I love the smell of this. I love Physician's Formula Butter line. I have a lot of products from them. They do make a lot of really, really good products, but unfortunately, I have chosen not to support Physician's Formula anymore until they decide to be more inclusive with like their shade ranges and stuff like that. So, which they're getting better about it. I just think that where they're at now it needs to be 10 times more better because we have things like Fenty and I just feel like products that are this really good quality and are pretty pricey because Physician Formula is pretty pricey at the drugstore, we should have more inclusivity and everybody should be able to try your products. That's just my personal opinion though. Next is the Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Face Primer. I love this primer but I don't use it very very often because it is a jelly primer but I do put it in my jar collection because you guys can see it's in a jar but I do love this primer it's it's a primer that I use whenever I really want to have fun with my makeup and I want to test out different stuff I, I I just have so much fun whenever I use this for some reason I don't know why this is another recommendation from Tati this is the Catrice one minute face perfecter this is an okay primer in my opinion I don't wear it a lot it's tinted if you can see it is tinted and I feel personally like because I use different colors so many different colors on my skin um in my base makeup I just feel like this darkens my foundation and my concealer too much personally for me I could be wrong but I personally see it that way and that is why I don't reach for this primer very often so this is a funny story. Um, we went to Ulta to get the birthday gift this year, and they were out of the birthday gift, so they ended up giving me a little trial size of some NYX products, which my mom stole some of the NYX products. This was in that. It's the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. So this does actually come in a jar, which is why I put it with the jars. But this is just a little trial size one. Um, I haven't gotten to try this one yet. I'm thinking of doing it this week because I am researching some different videos to do for my channel and I'm obviously filming them but I'm thinking of doing um, in my personal time half a face of this and half a face of the wet and wild one because I do enjoy the wet and wild one so much so um, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera real fast and reorganize some stuff here and I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. So I like to have my primers organized in a specific way, and I put my high-end primers next to my jar primers because I reach for the jar primers the most, but I really do enjoy my high-end primers. So I have all three of the Fenty Beauty primers, of course, and I always put the original, which is this one. It's This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I always put this one first because I do love the original formula of this. I don't think that it's too matte on my skin. I just really have to prep it. Um, I do want you guys to know that in my mind, when I'm priming my skin, I am... It's an extension of my skincare routine. So typically what I like to do is I like to put my face primer on first and I like to let it sink in so I'll start working on my eye makeup. I like to let my face primer sink into my skincare. 
So the next one is the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I do enjoy this one also. I enjoy this one a lot more than this one. This is the True Matte Pro Filter, of course. I tend to use the matte one more in the summertime and this one more in times like this in October and fall just because of my dry skin. And next, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Rare Beauty Primers. I got to look at the bottom. These are the pore, this is the pore diffusing primer base, and this is the illuminating one. So I don't know which one's the original one. I kind of just put this one as the original one. I do sometimes have um, bad pores. So, sorry. I do sometimes have pretty big pores. I have a pretty decent skincare routine that helps me really keep my pores in check with their sizes and stuff like that, which I will be filming an updated video on that because I've changed my skincare routine. But then you also have the illuminating one. So I enjoy these ones both. Um, I can use these all year round, but the illuminating one I do typically save for times like this in the fall and winter. But the pore diffusing one, again, I have a skincare routine that kind of helps me fill in my pores and I just don't end up reaching for pore diffusing primers that much anymore like I used to when I was a little bit younger. Next I have the little mini version of the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I got the little mini one because I had seen I believe many MUA's review of this and he had said that this was just a liquid version of the jar one. And it didn't really make much of a difference, but I wanted this for my channel. I never ended up reviewing it. I still haven't even really used it. So I need to actually use this in my personal time. I'm heading out with my mom on Saturday, so I might leave this out and test it out on Saturday. Um, so yeah, I'm going to... Maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side with the jar and the liquid one. I think that would be really cool for me to do that. I love testing out makeup in my personal time. I'm, I'm weird. I'm sorry. Next, I love these. I was introduced to these two products by BoxyCharm, and it is the Touch and Sew No Pore Blum Primer and the Touch and Sew No Pore Blum Prime Essence. I prefer this one. This, I believe, is the original, the No Pore Blum Primer, over the Essence. I just prefer thicker base primers, if you want me to be completely honest, over, like, liquid ones, which is probably going to be seen a lot in this video. I do have a little mini version of the Benefit Professional Pore Primer. I have a mini version because I had always wanted to try this. Then when I had some extra money, I grabbed it. But I grabbed the mini one because I was like, I don't really reach for pore prim primers anymore just because of my skincare routine. So I didn't want to invest the money when I didn't need to. This is another one I was introduced to by BoxyCharm. I'm probably like maybe about halfway through this one. I don't really enjoy this one. This is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Again, I just don't really typically end up reaching for primers like this. Typically, primers that I end up reaching for would be either like matte primers or hydrating primers, depending on the time. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go off camera, reorganize a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I have my favorite, favorite, favorite drugstore primer. So my favorite drugstore primer has got to be this L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I have had so many of these. You guys have no idea. I picked this up when I first got into makeup via Kathleen Lights' channel, and I actually used to also use this as a liquid highlighter. I think I've gone through like five of these, and I actually just recently saw her... Um, video where she tries out her old holy grails and she actually used this and I was like wow so that's what makes me think I want to revisit this one in my personal time and let you guys know next I'm going to talk about this one this is the Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser again I've had multiples of these I think I picked this up because of Kathleen Lights and it was back when I didn't have a good skincare routine and I was trying to deal with my big pores because I did have big pores. And this did work. I really enjoyed using this primer whenever I did have big pores when I was younger. So I definitely think that this is a better alternative to the Benefit one because this one did work. And this is like $5. <laughs> At least it was $5 when I got it. Next, I'm going to talk about this one. This is the NYX Honeydew Me Up Primer. I've had a couple of these also. 
I remember people not liking this, but I actually enjoyed this very much because I, I've purchased multiples of it. It does have gold flecks in it, and I don't really enjoy the applicator. That I don't like, but this is a good primer in my personal opinion, at least for my skin. Let's see. Next is the L'Oreal Revital of Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother Original. Again, this is something I picked up when I watched Kathleen Lights' channel when I was younger. This is really expensive. This is like $20. This does have SPF 30 in it. So this is one that I usually used in the summertime. This one I've had multiple ones of also. I had to go looking for this in Walmart when I wanted this. I remember that. <laughs> so bad. But yeah, this is a good primer. I mean, I prefer, I save this mostly for, like, summer looks, to be completely honest, because of the SPF in here. Even though I do use an SPF in my morning routine, updated morning routine is coming. Promise. Next is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. I've only used this a couple of times. It does have, like, a tint to it, so that's why I don't really use this very, very much, because I think that it messes with my base makeup, and I'm not about that. This is another one via Kathleen Lights, the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. This is expensive too. This was like $20 at Ulta, and it's so small. Um, I don't really notice that big of a difference, which is why I don't really reach for this in my personal time, because it just doesn't make that big of a difference in my makeup, in my personal opinion. Next is another newer one. This is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Um, I got this because of like the marshmallow thing, and I also got the marshmallow sponge. I think that it's super cute, but again, this is I this is just another one that I just don't think makes a difference in my skin. So this one's my personal fault. This is the NYX Hydro Touch Oil Primer. I actually I don't I don't like this. I I don't like this because I have a a to a oh, one-year-old, but I don't really like oil primers like this, especially right now, so I don't really find myself reaching for products like this because I like thicker primers. I'm trying to keep everything organized. All right, give me one second. I'll be right back because I'm going to go off camera and take care of some stuff. All right, next is products that have a sentimental value to me. That is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rebel Rose um, Primer Serum. I don't use this anymore because this was one of the last things that my grandfather actually purchased for me before he passed away. But I love the Rebel Rose collection. As well as this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Primer Serum. This is from their Crystal Caverns collection. I have, again, personal feelings towards this, a personal connection to these two products, which is why I don't use these. And I also have this Neutrogena Radiant Primer and Serum. This is the Healthy Skin one. I like products like this that advertise that face primers should be an extension to your skincare routine because that's how I act as my face primer. It's a extension of my skincare routine. All right, I'll be right back. Alright, so these are products that have ingredients that are really good or just like have a staple ingredient advertised in it, which is why these are in this section. I'm going to start out with this Essence High Beauty Hydrating Primer. Brandon actually purchased this for me. Um, you have a chance to win like this, like the Cannabis Sativa stuff in my 420 subscriber giveaway. In case you guys are curious on that, check the description box. Um, but yeah, this, it, it, it advertises that it has the Cannabis Sativa oil or whatever in it. Um, but it is a hydrating face primer. I haven't gotten to try this yet, but Brandon did pick this up for me thinking he was funny. It was funny, I guess. Next, I have all three of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Water Drop Primers. So, I love coconut. Coconut was really um, good for my skin. Rose. I don't like rose in my products, but I like rose better than cucumber. And I have the cucumber one also. And that is how I put those. I do coconut, rose, cucumber. So, alright. Another reorganizing. I'll be right back. This is honestly so funny because these are spray primers and it's kind of the same way. So again, the Makeup Revolution Purifying Primer Water with Cannabis Sativa. Another product you can possibly win in my 420 giveaway. 
And if you're curious, check the description box down below. But this is a bigger bottle, which is why I kind of put it back here because it is a bigger bottle. And then I have all three of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus sprays. And again, I put it cucumber, or coconut, rose, cucumber. I do like sprays from Wet n Wild, especially their setting sprays. I will give them that. All right, so we have stragglers is what I call them. I have this Makeup Revolution Blur Priming Serum. I don't know really where to put this, which is why it's in a straggler section. Well, at least I call it a straggler section. And I also have this LA Girl Pro Prep HD High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. This is 0 0.50 fluid ounces, which is why this is in a straggler section. Why is this so small? I will never understand that. I wanted that for so long. And when I saw how small it was when I got it, I was like, why? All right, I only have two more products left. These are not primers. <laughs> I picked this up because of Tati. This is the Monistat Chafe Complete Care Chafing Relief Powder Gel. She said that this is a really good primer. I have not tried it yet because I'm scared. But, um, yeah, not a primer. But I'm going to try it as a face primer because Tati. And this I picked up because of Nikki Tutorials. This is the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. I get these all the time for Brandon because when he shaves, he gets ingrown hair because he's a chef, so he has to shave. He gets ingrown hairs, and this, as, long, as well as the Jack Black Cooling Shave Balm, also work for him, but this one's cheaper. But Nikki Tutorial says that this is a good primer, so personal time. Mama gonna try that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a 20 minute video. I can't believe I spent 20 minutes just talking and organizing my face primers. That's so crazy. Um, I have a lot of face primers. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.